Hi captains and fellow foxes! Back with another video to react to the trailers that I didn't get to last time and also the newest one. So I hope you enjoy my reaction and let's get started! A post Honkai Odyssey trailer. So I did hear that the second trailer gives spoilers on how the first part ends. So I won't be watching that one but but we'll be watching the first one. And let's start! Rainer Mario Rielke? I wonder what that says in... I assume it's German, right? I heard that this was set 10 years after the end of the first part of Honkai Impact 3rd. And we get to play as a guy, right? And that's the guy we're playing as. Oh, is that me? That's Carol. Is the male MC in this open world area, is he like super strong or something? Or do, would you say that he's like weak and then gets strong later? Like, you know, in those typical shonen animes or whatever. Wait, okay. I want to go back to that so I can actually look at a few details. Let's see, in, if, I wonder if we could see a clear image. Okay. Saint Fountain Express. Strange crystals are still appearing due to the past Honkai disaster. Past Honkai disaster? So I assume that the crystals are made of Honkai energy, then that means that Honkai, I guess, still obviously exists in this future, I guess, time period. But it looks very... The buildings look intact, except there's some destroyed parts. So I assume it's like a post, or it's an apocalyptic area. But I don't think that would be the entire world, right? It's probably just this one area or region. Or is humanity almost pretty much gone by this time? Which is a little... It's a little depressing to think about. I assume this is... It looks like he's fighting against this thing. So I assume this is like a Honkai mech or whatever it's called. I can never remember what it's called. I know there's Honkai Beast and Hershers and like those diseases that they cause. But I don't really know the term that they have for the mechs that they show. I assume this is Mei? She looks very different. She kind of reminds me of Servelle. Like her outfit from Star Rail. Although it's, maybe it's based off of her outfit to be fair. Since this came first. The katana and the sheath and I'm, I'm like... 60% certain that it's May. I'm not sure if she's supposed to be alive by this time or not, so I guess I can't really be sure. And that's Carol. She's the one that appeared in that Star Rail-ish trailer, I guess. I wonder what kind of role she plays in this open world. Is the open world for Apo similar to Sakura Samsara, where obviously you get to run around in certain areas? And then you have like these missions that you complete. And after that you have adventure missions. Is it like the same format? I assume it is, but I just wonder. Cause I know Sakura Samsara was released way before, right? So I'm wondering if they have like different game modes in AFO as well as what they currently have in Sakura Samsara. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Elysian Reverie. This is the one I missed, right, with Pardo? That voice kind of sounds like Bronya, but I don't think it is, right? Raven. So this arc is definitely in the point of view of Mei. Oh, 
報酬が十分なら手に入れてあげるよあなたは何が欲しいの<笑>簡単だよメイの姉ちゃん Oh, that trumpet! That's the trumpet, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I really like playing with Pardo. I'm so glad you guys recommended getting her for my team with Alicia. Wait, 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 let me look at this. What's that red thing she's holding on? Is it an apple? Is that a ponya? Kind of looks like her. Obviously, that's May. And what is that in the back right here? Can't really see. And that's that girl that reminds me of the. Ugh, The artist version of Amu from Shibokata. The powers, I remember, looked pretty similar. Who is this? Is this that guy? What was it? Calpis? No, no, no. Maybe Cal Calpus? I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> As expected of my horrible memories. Okay, let's keep going. Part of Pelis. Oh, it's fervent tempo. Oh, I didn't know Raven had long hair. I should check it. Because I have her battle suit, I just never really checked the backside of them. <laughs> wait, 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 who is that? Who is she talking to? Is she talking to Daiden May? That silhouette. Can I tell who it is from that? No, I can't. <laughs> It's impossible. Let me see what it says right here. Reverist. The moth's number 13, shopkeeper. So Pardo is a shopkeeper? Interesting. That must be why. Let me see, where is it? The money. Aha. That must be why she has the money. Makes sense. Makes sense. I really like her. She's so funny. Woven from the last snow. Shariak is Cecilia's family, right? Do they ever go deeper into the Shariak family's history? I mean, I know that Hokai Back Third focuses on Kaslana family, but I'm curious about the Shariaks. Like, besides the Thelia, I mean. Who is that? This voice sounds oddly familiar. So I guess now they're focusing on Zila and her point of view? Wait, wait, who was that? Whoa. I really like that color scheme. Wait, wait. Whoa. Dreamweaver. Oh, that battle suit? Or did she change it to it? But it reminded me of Dia and Korra a little. Like the battle suit style. Who is that? Bronya's family member? They sure look similar. Wait, but Bronya doesn't have a family, right? Wasn't she an orphan in an orphanage? Huh. Bunny ear, teddy teddy. So cute. Aita.
but I need to look at this a little more. Oh, wait, there's still a little more left. <gasps> wait. Oh, I, I can never remember her name. But that was Zila's other self, right? Okay, so that's the end of it. I guess the Sherry X have an army of some sort, I assume. And then, what is this area? Is this like a, another area like, I guess, the Lysian realm? Or is it just a random area, I guess, in that world? Clearly it's... Okay, so Salt, Snow, Holy City. And there's like these like crystal thingies. And who is this? This person... Wait a second, those hands. Is she a robot? She looks like Bronya. Or they at least have similar powers, okay? <laughs> so maybe she kind of looks a little fancier with the red eyes and all that. And this area... What is that? It's like some kind of like... Stairway to heaven type of thing. <laughs> but then maybe it's not. Kind of reminds me of those typical fantasy isekai stuff where they're like oh, it's the castle we must go up there or something to become stronger or maybe that's just me and then i do wonder who this person is in the cloak their voice sounded really familiar but i just can't pinpoint who it is and then there's zila so i guess zila is the main character in this area and then i also wonder who this is and the person fighting, like, this girl. Clearly she's connected to the Shariac, right? I assume maybe this is mostly talking about the Shariac family and their history. Or at least whatever is going on. Because I don't know if we actually see a Shariac member in the game. Or at least in the early days, since I'm still on chapter 8, technically. I guess they're finally getting into the other families that's not the Kaslana. I do wonder what her existence is. Is she like the current Shariac head or something like that? If they did the whole Gatai where, you know, like they put the armor on her, then it would be like Eriza. <laughs> but I guess they don't do that for this one. Instead, it looks like she's like switching places. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but that's what it looks like. And then her power looks like some kind of... It really does look similar to Bronya. And I do wonder if maybe they're connected somehow. Or if she's just a typical robot that just, you know, happens to look similar to Bronya and all that. <laughs> but that was really fun to watch. <laughs> I like how the quality always gets better so it makes me really look forward to the next one and especially if we get to see the other characters act as like the quote-unquote main character of that arc because Kiana's story is technically done now right at least based on what everyone's been telling me that seems to be the case so I'm really interested to see how they're going to continue the game and what other world lore we're going to be learning but I guess it'll take me some time to reach that point. But even so, I look forward to it, even if I'm just going through the manga right now. <laughs> so that was pretty much it. If you enjoy this type of content and want more of it from me, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what was your favorite trailer to watch? Or what was the trailer that really got you to be like, oh, this game is amazing. <laughs> I would love to know. Go ahead and let me know down below. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!